Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. And in this video, I want to clear up a couple of confusions surrounding the Festival of the Lost and the masks and sort of like how everything works and also show you a really, really easy way to farm candy. See, after yesterday's video that I put up showing you all the masks, there seems to be a lot of people thinking that the only way you can get these is by buying them from Tess Everest. And that obviously costs real money, which then leads people to think that this entire event is gated behind money. That is not actually the case. While yes, you can get to the end goal a lot quicker if you do buy silver and just simply buy the Treasures of the Lost from Tess Everest and just open them and get random masks, you can also do this simply by playing the game. See, when you go to Eva Levante, the first time you speak to her, she will give you an empty candy satchel. This will basically fill with candy when you kill either enemies of the darkness or minions of the darkness or also opponents in the crucible. So it doesn't matter whether you're a PvP player or a PvE player, simply by killing people or killing opponents, you will fill up this bag. And then upon filling up one of these bags and returning it to Evil Avanti, she will then give you one of these Gifts of the Lost bag. This basically contains a random mask and also a random festival candy. Of course, it is worth bearing in mind that rare masks will expire after the week is out, unless of course you use some glue on them. If you use the paper glue on it, it turns a rare mask into a legendary mask, and legendary masks will last forever. So in other words, once the event's finished, they will not expire and you can wear these whenever you want. So with that being said, what is the easiest way to farm candy? Well, obviously you can go out into the open world, do whatever you want, doesn't matter whether you're going to a raid, a strike, whatever it is, a mission, anything like that will of course generate candy. But by far the easiest way to do it is to return to our good old favourite We've Woken the Hive of the Dark Beyond mission. This is the same mission I used to, say, complete arc abilities when I was getting my exotic sword, or where I go to if I say you need to get hive kills, or back in the day when I used to have to do fusion rifle kills, anything like that, anytime you basically need to kill a large number of enemies, you return here. You simply go to this point, wait till you go to the scene where you obviously find the dead guardian on the floor, the door opens up, and then waves of thrall and acolytes and knights will roll out at you. Now in this particular instance, I've actually done this on the harder mode, simply because that spawns more mages, and mages drop more candy. But you can still do this on normal, but either way, when you do this, you guys should know this by now, but if you don't, you simply kill most of the enemies there, leaving something like the knight and maybe a couple of acolytes, you then let them kill you, and then you respawn, do the same thing again, and again, and again, until the candy bag is full, and it will honestly take you probably about 5 minutes, you'll get between sort of, you know, 20 to maybe 40 candy per run, and you need 150 to complete the bag. Once the bag is full, you again fly back to the tower, hand it into Evil Avanti, get another Gift of the Lost, open that, have your mask, and then go and repeat the process. Every time you hand in a completed candy satchel, Evil Avanti will give you a new empty one, which means you can then go back out and start filling it again. And given that this is your path to masks, this basically means you can get all those masks simply by playing the game. Yes, of course it is longer than, say, going to Tess Everest and just buying the Treasure of the Lost, but regardless, if you don't want to spend money, if you don't want to spend real money and buy silver, you can still earn these in-game. That being said, it is worth noting, I do believe this mask that I'm wearing, this skull mask, I believe this is the only mask you can't actually get from Evil Avanti. I think this one does generally come from the pay packages. I could be wrong, but from what I've seen on Reddit and from what I've seen other people saying, it seems like Evil Avanti will only ever give you the paper masks, which is of course all of those 16 ones, but this 17th one looks to be a special mask. Either way, that being said, you can still get all the other 16 this way. Of course, it is entirely down to RNG. I'm still currently missing the tiger mask, which is the last one that I need to complete my collection. But regardless, you can keep grinding, keep handing them in, keep getting masks, and hopefully you'll complete your collection. And that's it. That, my friends, is it for this video. That is how you farm candy, and that is how you get all the masks for free. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then a like would be super appreciated. Don't forget to share this with your friends if they need some help on this as well. And thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.